Hello, it is time for another edition of Tualatin Tiny Tot Tune Time. All right, so let's get some tunes on. We're going to start as we always do by singing hello. And that goes like this. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Now everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Now everybody clap your hands, come on and clap your hands. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Now everybody give a thumbs up, give a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up now, everybody. Give a thumbs up. Come on and give a thumbs up. Okay, and Espanol. Hola, hola, hola y como esta? Estoy bien, muy bien, y espero que tú también. Now everybody wave hello, a wave hello, a wave hello. Now everybody wave hello, 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 hello. Hello! Yay! <laughs> All right, hello. Welcome back. It is time for another pet party. Yes, indeedy, we are going to party with pets today. And if you would like a copy of the flyer that has all of the books and all of the rhymes that we're doing, just hang on in there till the end and there'll be a link to tell you how to get one. All right. So it is time now where it's time for us to wake up our bodies. Make sure we're ready for listening to stories. So we're going to do a wake up our bodies song. It's one of my favorite dog songs of all time. It's called Do Your Ears Hang Low. <laughs> And the fun thing about this is that we get to pretend to be a set of basset hound ears. If you've ever seen a basset hound, they are a dog that have big old floppy long ears. Their ears are so long that sometimes they trip over them. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> Imagine ears so long you trip over them. Whoa, that would be a different life altogether. Okay, so we're going to sing a verse about basset hound ears, and then we'll move on to something else. But so bend yourselves over and sway back and forth like you're a big old floppy pair of basset hound ears. Goes like this. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? All right, you got yourself stretched downward. Now it's time to stretch up to the sky because we're going to pretend like we're German shepherd ears. And those ears are tall and pointy and point way up to the sky. So stretch your arms up high and we're going to do a big stretch like that. Okay, German shepherd ears. Do your ears hang high? Do they go up to the sky? Do they wrinkle when they're wet? Do they spring back when they're dry? Can you wave them at your neighbor with an element of flavor? Do your ears hang high? Yeah! Nice! All right, I do believe our bodies are all woken up. So let's do a song together. We're going to do a song where we will channel our inner puppy and we will become puppies and you will do whatever puppy action i say <laughs> it's called puppy dog puppy dog all right and uh it's gonna go a little like this so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna sing a verse and then i'm gonna tell you to do something and then you do it <laughs> let's see if we can all do it together it goes like this puppy dog puppy dog don't be shy Puppy dog, puppy dog, jump up high. Are you jumping? All right, let's do something else. Puppy dog, puppy dog, turn around. Puppy dog, puppy dog, roll on the ground. Are you rolling? All right. Puppy dog, puppy dog, don't you growl. Grrr. Wait, don't do that. Puppy dog, puppy dog, I'd rather hear you howl. Can you howl? Ow, 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 ow. 
<laughs> puppy dog, puppy dog, count to four. One, two, three, four. Nice, okay. Puppy dog, puppy dog, sit on the floor. Woohoo! Nice! Good job! Well done. All right, it's time for my favorite part of Tiny Tots, where I get to share a book with you. But before we do that, we've got to make sure that our bodies are all ready for book listening. So let's check in with our bodies and see how everything's doing. Let's see, we'll start here. My ears are ready to hear. My eyes are ready to look. (laughs) My hands, I clap, now in my lap. It's time now for a book. And today, we're going to do this gem by Allison Murray. It's called One, Two, That's My Shoe. And I love this book for tots and for little people. It's got a really simple structure. It's got a great opportunity to do some counting. And it's just super fun, super cute. So I'm going to share it with you right now. We got a one and a two. There's even a three there. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. I have a feeling there will be some more numbers in this book. We're going to start just talking one. You see down there, there's one dog. And two, what are there two of? Two shoes. That's my shoe. Okay. One, two, baby, that's my shoe. One, two, baby, that's my shoe. Three, four. What is going to happen to that shoe? Out the door. Three, four, baby, out the door. Three, four, baby, out the door. Five. What are those? Five butterflies? One, two, three, four, five butterflies. Six tulips. Five and six. Oh, doggy tricks. Five and six, baby, doggy tricks. Five and six, baby, doggy tricks. And then seven. Ooh, look at all those trees. Seven of them. And eight sheets drying on the line. Seven, eight. Uh Uh-oh, through the gate. Seven, eight, baby, through the gate. Seven, eight, baby, through the gate. And nine, whoa, we got nine chicks and ten hens. Nine, ten. Shoo that hen. Nine, ten, baby, shoo that hen. Nine, ten, baby, shoo that hen. Okay, let's go through all of them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Friends again. Nine, ten, baby, friends again. Nine, ten, baby, friends again. (laughs) Woohoo! That is One, Two, That's My Shoe by Allison Murray, a delightful counting book. All right, since we are celebrating all things puppy today, we're going to do another puppy song. And this one goes to the tune of Where is Thumpkin, which we've done before, so I bet you know it. We're going to get out these two puppies right here, but first they're going to hide, and then we have to figure out where they are. Okay, so it goes like this. It goes, where is puppy? Where is puppy? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, dog? Very well, I thank you. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff, ruff. (laughs) Nice. Okay. We celebrated puppies, but there are other pets that we could sing. Let's see. How about kittens? 
I have cats at home. Let's do a verse for some kitties. Okay, where is kitty? It goes like this. Where is kitty? Where is kitty? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, cat? Very well, I thank you. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> okay, puppies, cats, birds. Birds make fantastic pets. All right, so let's do a verse for a birdie. Okay. Where is birdie? Where is birdie? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, bird? Very well, I thank you. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> okay, one more. This one will be a slightly more silent pet. We are going to do fishies. All right. What's a fishy going to say? Let's find out. Where is fishy? Where is fishy? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, fish? Very well, I thank you. Glub, glub, glub. Glub, glub, glub. <laughs> well done, friends. <laughs> All right. It is time for this week's Lit Bit. This is for the big people. So big people, listen up. <laughs> One of the best things that you can do for your babies and your tiny tots is to talk all the time to them. Now, it doesn't work to put them in front of a video. It doesn't work to, you know, have a conversation with your sister while they're in the room, that kind of thing. Talking directly to them can make a huge difference in their future literacy success. It is, there's been studies that have shown the more language that a child has directed at them, the more that parents talk to their babies, the greater success they'll have when they go to learn to read. So talk all the time to your little people. Don't feel silly about it. I know at first it can feel really weird to just have this running monologue, basically, because a six-month-old isn't talking back to you. <laughs> but have that running monologue. Di narrate what's going on around them. It will make a huge difference in their future success at school. All right, thanks for joining me today. It was super fun hanging out for some Tiny Tot Tune Time. And as usual, we'll finish with the happiest song in the world because it makes me so happy to share books and to get to sing with you. So let's sing a rousing rendition of If You're Happy and You Know It. It goes like this. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, boogie down. If you're happy and you know it, boogie down. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, boogie down. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Okay, best part. All three of them put together. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Boogie down. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap. Boogie down. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap. Boogie down. Hooray! Yay! All right, I'll see you next week.